Did you fall asleep? Wake up. Weren't you supposed to be studying? Hmm, let me help you out. Let's go to the world of free convection. In free convection, the fluid movement is a consequence of the motion forces within the fluid. While in forced convection, the movement is imposed externally. The impulse in the fluid is due to the combined presence of a density gradient in the fluid and a body force proportional to the density. The body force can be a centrifugal force or a Coriolis force, but is usually a gravitational force. The density gradient can also appear for many different reasons, but generally is due to a temperature gradient. Having a density gradient in a gravitational field doesn't secure the existence of free convection currents. Let's imagine two horizontal plates containing fluids at different temperatures. In the case that the inferior plate is at a higher temperature, the density diminishes in the direction of the gravitational force. At a certain point, when the impulse forces overcome the viscous forces, the conditions will become unstable and the fluid will start to move. The warmer and therefore less dense fluid will rise where it will lose temperature, causing it to gain density and will therefore fall again to the higher temperature region. In the opposite case, when the warmer plate is situated at the top of the liquid, the instabilities won't occur, and the physics of the problem will be that of a conduction case. Let's look at a classic free convection problem. A vertical plate is surrounded by a fluid at rest. If the temperature of the plate is higher than the original temperature of the fluid, then the fluid next to the plate will be lighter than the rest of the fluid. The buoyancy forces then induce a boundary layer of free convection, where the heated fluid rises vertically, enabling the entrance of fluid from the steady zone. A boundary layer will also be produced in the case that the plate has a colder temperature than the surrounding environment. In this case, the movement would be in a downward direction. If the Boussinesque approximation is used, then the governing equations for free convection are the following. For the preceding problem, Ostrich obtained a solution using a similarity integral method with the subsequent similarity parameter and current function. Obtaining the final results. Okay, that's all for today. Now go study. See you later.